Welcome back to Cards TV. We are talking softball. Head coach Sandy Pearsall brought the spring break San Diego weather back with her. Although it wasn't quite San Diego weather no, the entire was. time you were there, but no. uh, good week for you guys, four and one. Yes, we I mean, we were very pleased. I mean, we we wanted to go in there and we wanted to win the majority of the games. We wanted to go, of course, five and zero. Oh, um, but four and one certainly is a good job for us. And you know, we we knew that San Diego State was going to be tough on their home field. And I thought we did an incredibly great job. We had great pitching performance and just, um, I mean, every mistake their pitcher made, we capitalized on. Yeah. It was awesome. Cal State, Northridge, San Diego State, Wisconsin, and Ohio State, you get a couple of nice regional wins against some teams in the, in the Big Ten, which is a very good conference. And like we say, that they know that the game of softball out in California, uh, the bump in the road against Ohio. But you come out of it with Big East Pitcher of the Week, Tori Collins, for the second time so far this season. And she was a little slow out of the gate those first few weekends, but, boy, she really pitched well this past weekend. Yeah, you know, she did have a rough start to the year, but now um, she seems to have found her own again. Um, she's pitching quite well. We're, we're getting out of her exactly what we need, and she's going to have to throw a lot of innings for us from now on because um, she's just been that consistent and good for us. Um, you know, she just has a tremendous curveball, a great screwball. Uh, her changeup's been there a little bit. It, we were struggling a little bit. If we can get that in there, that's going to be the, yeah. the ceiling deal for her. But um, she's been able to keep the ball down in the zone, huge key, yeah. um, and just keep them kind of guessing and off balance. And she's done a tremendous job for us. And it's kind of hard to nutshell five games. Obviously, Tori was kind of the marquee player, but you had some different players step up offensively. The one that we talked about that was noticeable is Colby Wary yeah. really starting to get into that zone. Yeah, Colby's sometimes a slow starter. Um, again, and, and you know, she really was on fire this weekend. Oh my God, she was hitting the ball for us. He had a towering home run. That thing wasn't even close to being, it was so far out. It actually went over the bleachers in, oh, wow. in left field. It was so far out. Um, and uh, she just really did a great job. When we needed clutch hitting, she came through for us a lot. So yeah. um, she was really super out there. And, you know, I, I got to say, her and Tanner Fowler, another one who really hit the ball well for us sure. again. Um, this weekend were, were just great. They did they, in crucial times. They made some hits for us. And I know Kristen Austin's been a little frustrated yeah. with her start, but she's taken some pitches. She's getting on base, and she she had a pretty good weekend. Yeah, I think she's finally seeing the ball a little better. She's gaining a little bit of confidence. Yeah. Um, we truly need her back. Sure. Um, and she certainly made great strides this weekend. So the hope is that you know maybe now we've turned the corner for her. And again, she last year was a slow starter. Yeah. So I, interestingly enough, I have several players on this team that are a little bit of slow starters, where a lot of our freshmen and sophomores have been pretty hot right from the beginning. Well, and you know, the end of the season is when you want to be at your best, and so far that's kind of where your team has traveled. It's Wildcat Week, apparently, and mm -hmm. uh, you know what? You guys have a really tough test because you've got the emotional rivalry with Kentucky. Yes. Uh, Kentucky's having a very good season. You, you factor in, and I know you're not going to use this as an excuse, but the baseball team just did this. You come back from spending a week in California three time zones away, mm -hmm. your flight conditions coming back with some weather factoring in, yeah. we're not, I mean, this poor team is exhausted. You're yes. gonna really have to be mentally sharp against the Wildcats on Wednesday. Luckily, yeah. you're here in Louisville. Yes, exactly, and thank God we are home. Um, it, it isn't the ideal timing for this matchup. Um, I think our team will get obviously up because it is a, it is a rivalry and all, but, um, and they are, they are having a tremendous year. They, they are on fire right now. Um, but I, I, I feel good about our opportunities against them. I know that we will swing the bat well. Yeah. Um, I'll be interested to see who they pitch against us because they're a little deeper in their staff now sure. than we are by far. Um, we've had success, obviously, against their two top ones, but, you know, anything can happen on this oh, rivalry. Yeah. Um, but, again, it's nice to be playing on our field where we're very comfortable um, and we have a, our fences are a little deeper than their fences. Yeah. Um, on their field, it's a little more shallow a field. Sure. So we're excited. My only worry now towards the week, actually, is that rivalry on Wednesday. I have to make sure my team is back up by the you weekend bet. to play conference, to open up in conference. You bet. We invite you to come on out to Ulmer Stadium and, and support the cards on Wednesday. And it'll be interesting to see because with, with the younger team, the kids understand what the rivalry means, but maybe it's not until they play in one they fully mm -hmm. grasp it. I'll always That's go with the image of you describing Alicia Walney last yeah, year, yeah. announcing her arrival on campus as a Louisville softball player in that game with the big oh, home yeah. run and the emotion she showed. So yeah. we'll see yeah. which of these kids can step I'm up. Hoping she, I'm hoping she fires up my youth yeah. again. <laughs> Let, let's get another one. She's still just a sophomore. Uh, and you mentioned the weekend. Villanova's here, first Big East weekend. Really the, the preseason, whatever record you come out with, it could be over. 
you could still win a Big East championship. And obviously, right. you've had a good preseason, but now is when the second season begins with the Big East play. Yeah, and, you know, we have to get very focused. Um, you don't play everybody in the Big East, so that's tough. Um, and in some, some programs, like DePaul, who is a very strong program, is not going to play Notre Dame, us, or South Florida, or Syracuse, arguably the top of the conference. So yeah. they, can, they can pretty much coast their way into the conference tournament. Sure. The rest of us are going to have to battle. And I'm, cer certainly I have Notre Dame at Notre Dame, and I have to go to Syracuse. Yeah. So I have two very tough matchups on the road. But that's why every game we play here and every other conference game that we should win, we need to win. Um, so we're going to have to be at our best. Um, yeah. this weekend too. Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, Elmer Stadium. It's, as I said, it's Wildcat Week. <laughs> Hope we come out and support the Cardinals at Elmer Stadium and uoflsports.com with more details on those start times, first pitch times, and if Mother Nature decides to change things, all those updates will be there as uh, we do a pretty good job of keeping it updated. Good luck to you and the team. Welcome home. It's good to have you back. And, uh, it's good to be back. Good luck this weekend. <laughs> Thank you. For Sandy Pearsall, I'm Sean Moth. Thanks for coming by. We'll talk to you next time right here. Clark's TV.